Well, l- yesterday, Miss Lucy, you picked out this gospel track, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Well, can we talk about this one now? Yeah. It's called Freedom in Forgiveness. It was written by a friend of mine, Paul Peruki. It tells his life story. Here's what he says. It's a life testimony of Paul Peruki. Paula and I, he says, were married in 1984 and had a rough life because of drugs and much death. In 1986, my 18-year-old nephew died. Then my father died from alcohol. Then the next year, my mother died in my arms. Her last words were, it's all right, but nothing was. Six weeks later, a best friend living with us died and continuing on, it just goes through this, this almost sounding, horrible sounding history of his life. He thinks his marriage is over. He thought a baby would save, having a baby would save his marriage. It, it, it wouldn't. And on down the way, then he was invited to a church, May 20th, 1990. He says, the message was for me. The invitation and the knowledge that Jesus paid it all was given to me by God through his men. And God saved my soul. Now, I'll say this. If you don't know the freedom that comes through God's forgiveness, then I invite you today to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior like I did many years ago, like Paul Peruki did back in 1990. If you have more questions, I'd love to hear from you. But if you're a Christian friend and you know Christ is your Savior and you'd like to get some of this gospel track called Freedom in Forgiveness, you can do that at BibleTracksInc.org. I passed out one of those gospel tracks and not too long ago, we had a flat tire on our, I'm sorry, no, no, that one wasn't a flat tire. The AC compressor went out on our vehicle and we had to get towed and all these things. And one of the tow truck drivers, I gave him that gospel track and followed up with him about a day or two later when I was checking on the vehicle in the shop. And he said, was that, was that your life story? I said, I said no, that was, that was a friend of mine. He said, well, that really impacted me because my mom, my dad, they both died of, of heroin overdose. And we got to talk about things of the gospel and found out that he knew Christ as his Savior. But I've got to ask you, friend, do you know Christ as your Savior? More important than anything that happens today. More important than Lucy being on the radio. More important than Emmy being on the radio is the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ.